Welcome to Pro Wrestling History Daily Top 5. I'm your host, the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and join me as I count down the top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Number 5, 1992. Don Morocco defeats Jimmy Snuka to win the ECW World Heavyweight title. Number 4, 1989. WWF's event at Madison Square Garden saw two returns, as Jimmy Snuka made his first MSG appearance since WrestleMania 1, where he seconded Hulk Hogan and Mr. T, defeating the Honky Tonk Man. And Roddy Piper fought Rick Rude to a double countout in Piper's first match in over two years. Number 3, 1980. New Japan Pro Wrestling ran a show at Budokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. It would be the last time New Japan would run Budokan, a regular venue for the competing All Japan Pro Wrestling, for a decade, as the company would not return to Budokan until November 1990. Number 2. 1972. The Worldwide Wrestling Federation ran at Shea Stadium in Flushing, New York, drawing over 22,000 fans for a show that main evented with a battle of baby faces as world champion Pedro Morales and Bruno San Martino wrestled to a curfew draw at 75 minutes of wrestling. The two shook hands and embraced before exiting the ring. During the match, George Steele tried to interfere, but was escorted out by security. Number 1. 1960 Two of the most important figures in the history of professional wrestling, Giant Baba, founder of All Japan Pro Wrestling, and Antonio Inoki, founder of New Japan Pro Wrestling, make their professional wrestling debuts at the Japanese Wrestling Association show in Japan. Baba defeats Tanaka in his debut, while Inoki loses his match to Okoki. And that's our list. Make sure to comment below what you feel was the number one moment for this day in pro wrestling history.